Joining us in Studio B, a man who is really good at the golf, Rhett Rasmussen, BYU men's golfer. Rhett, thanks for uh, joining us today. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. So, first of all, congratulations on your first place finish at the uh, at the Pullman Regional. The team you had a, you finished first. The team overall finished second. So it was a great uh, great weekend overall for for BYU golf. But I want to start off with this, our stat of the day. It's the BYU Sports Nation stat of the day. Rhett Rasmussen birdied four of his last five holes to win the NCAA Regionals. So with that stat of the day in mind, take us through your rounds. What was working so well for you? Um, I was just hitting my driver really good all, you know, every day, and it was just setting me up for perfect positions coming into the greens to make as many birdies as I could. So, so usually when, when an uh, athlete you know, is consistent, you know, at a high level in the game, a series, whatever the case is, that there's kind of like this moment, I call it like the matrix moment, where you push a button and everything slows down. Were you feeling that at all as you were going through? Um, For sure, you know, coming down the stretch with about six holes left, I knew we had about a two-stroke lead, you know, and that can go either way. So I just kind of said to myself, you know what, we need to get this done, and I just hit that extra gear. So, so everybody does. So, okay, I got to This is a players only thing. Sorry, Jason. We're we're <laughs> we're athletes. So everybody has every athlete has their own you know matrix you know moment. Mine was kind of like ah, I didn't hear nothing else. I just, ah. What's what what kind of happens with you? Do you the things slow down? Vision? What what happens? Um, you know, it's definitely a little more calm than that. But you know, I just sit down and tell myself, you know, we got to focus, and I just try to zone everything else out, you know, and just completely focus on the next shot. Mm. Well, now BYU golf heads to the NCAA Nationals for the second consecutive year. What does that accomplishment mean, first of all, to you personally, but also to this program? Um, you know, it's huge because. You know, I don't think I don't think the team has done super great the last 10 years. And so it's awesome for the last two years to make it because, you know, we've put so much effort into it and it's a big deal to make the championships. So we're all excited. What, what do you think has been the biggest difference over the last couple of seasons? What do you think has kind of turned that around? Um, we've just gotten hot at the right time. You know, we've had a great team the last couple of years. And fortunately for us, we've played great when it matters. So what do you what do you think? Um was, was has, is said or or do you guys as as leaders you know rally up everybody to to kind of get that spark to go on? um honestly i would just say that like throughout the course of the season we didn't start to panic you know when things didn't go our way and we just said you know we just need to make sure we peak at the right time and you know we all just were working on the right stuff and it worked out for us so it's kind of like practice players just like that yeah. guy's a practice player but when he gets in the game the lights go on. That's kind of like okay. Yeah, I respect that. Are you a guy that practice? I mean, are you as intense at practice as you are during tournaments? Um, definitely not, but I try to be. <laughs> <laughs> so, so nationals are scheduled for for the 24th to the 29th of May in Fayetteville, Ar or excuse me, Fayette, Arkansas. Uh, the course is the Blessings Golf Club. Have you have you ever played that course before? Do you what what do you know about the course? Um, I've never I've never played it before, but I know it's a very challenging course that you know has got a lot of tough shots, and that's just what I've heard from everyone else. So, so when when you guys um you know, are, are, are going to, 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 to prep and you haven't, you know, played on it on a course. How do you guys prep for that? Um, you know, you just try to find out as much about the course as possible and you try to recreate those type of scenarios around here. You know, you try to putt on as fast greens as possible, you know, hit out of the deepest rough possible and just, you know, that's all you can do. Like the parking lot rocks. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's your history with golf? When did you start playing? And when did you realize, you know, I'm pretty good at this? Um, so I started playing when I was three and I think three I, years old. Yeah. I think I played my first tournament when I was six. So wow, oh, <laughs> six years old. And I didn't even know they had tournaments for six year olds. Yeah. yeah I, I started pretty young. So would you consider yourself kind of like uh, like a prodigy when it comes to that kind of stuff? Um, I mean, I never like to think of myself like that, but I guess I guess you could say that. But if others want to think of you that way, it's perfectly fine, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. Three for the first in your first tournament at six? Yeah. That's un Do you remember how you did? Um, so I actually won my first tournament ever, which is probably <laughs> wow. one of the reasons why I'm still playing. But. <laughs> six years old, you won your first tournament. Yeah. That's unbelievable. What, so... I mean, growing up and, and doing the training stuff, did, did your parents have an influence on you to, to do this, or is it something that you just saw on TV and started chipping away? So, yeah, I actually used to play a lot of tennis growing up because my dad played college tennis, and then I just, you know, he just started playing golf with me, and I just really enjoyed it, started watching it on TV, and then it just took off. What's your favorite course to play around here? And then 
kind of thinking big picture, what's what's like your dream course? What's the, what's like the bucket list course to play on? Uh, the Masters, yeah. Augusta National. Yeah. <laughs> I figured that would probably yeah, be the answer. Yeah. What's yeah. your favorite? What's your favorite course around here? I mean, I know you guys obviously have your where you where you practice and everything, but what's what are some of the courses you like around here? Um, you know, I like playing Riverside a lot. Yeah. That's obviously our home course, sure. yep. so I'm very comfortable there. Um, you know, Fox Hollow, where our facility is at, that's another good one, and. You know, pretty much just anything. I enjoy playing everywhere. Everywhere. You guys are pretty lucky to have the courses that you guys have to be able to practice on. Those are fantastic. Yeah, yeah, we're pretty lucky for sure. How's how's that with recruiting when when you know guys come in to to visit and you know how much do you play that up? Um, you know, I think it's pretty big because when guys are coming in, I mean, they want they want the top places to play at, and we definitely have that. So it's it's awesome. Talking with Rhett Rasmussen, BYU men's golf, the uh, the BYU men's golf team heading on to. NCAA Nationals, what's kind of been the message from Coach Brockbank? What's he talking to you guys about heading into this? Um, just stay comfortable and play our own game. You know, I mean, we got we got to the Nationals playing our own game, and we don't need to do anything that we're not, you know, we don't need to do anything crazy. So just be ourselves. Is there anything that you guys learned last year that will prepare you for, for this year? Um, yeah, I would say so. We can't play on Sundays, and so we have to play our Sunday round first. And that was kind of a shock for us last year. But, you know, we're prepared for it this year, and um, we're going to do a lot better. You earned the unbelievable privilege of being able to play in the U.S. Open last year. How has that experience manifested itself this year, do you think? Um, it's definitely been huge, a huge confidence builder for me because it just shows me that I can compete with anybody and um, I can play on any stage. Rhett, uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, appreciate you coming in. Uh, good luck to you and uh, the team at Nationals. Uh, I'm going to hand this marker down to you. If, if you wouldn't mind, if you wouldn't mind signing our, uh, our new uh, BYU uh, Sailor Coog flag. And we're also uh, going to give you the BYU Sports Nation karma. You can sign it anywhere you want. Uh, appreciate you stopping oh, wait, by. we got to hold hands for oh, this. Yeah, that's right. we gotta hold, we got to hold hands we'll, for We'll wait it. for Rhett to get back up. Brian, I forgot. Brian, when he's on the show, he likes to hold hands when we bestow the uh, the BYU go. Sports Nation karma. It's official now. Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate it. All right, thanks, thank you. thanks, Rhett.